Hi, welcome back to Compressed Air Engine Research. Today I'm going to be talking about videos and things that I have seen on the YouTube and on the internet and I would just like to kind of go over some of the things that I don't agree with or don't think would work very well. Here's one thing was a drawing that I came across uh, of a uh, rotary type thing he has. The drawing was really bad so I tried to kind of trace over it and make it to where it was a little bit more legible. Uh, but he has a, a rotary thing inside of the housing. He said it weighed 400 pounds and it looks very crude <laughs> if all these things are just in there to blow air in these spots here. And from what I could get, he's expecting it to be almost like a perpetual motion. Whereas he has a compressor or compressed air tank, I guess a compressor the way it looks, blows the air in, spins this big 400 pound weight, comes back out, it's compressed, put back in this tank, and just continues on a continuous circle. I don't think it'll work, but that's maybe something that he can work on. We'll see. Then the uh, the next thing that I was wanting to uh, work on was this engine, or this design. It looks like, you know, it might be feasible, but when you look at the next one with the impeller or whatever you want to call it in this position, air coming in is going to be exerting pressure here and here, so it's not going to want to make it spin either direction. From what I can see, there has to be some sort of a positive uh, area where it starts out small and gets larger in order for it to, to move. So I'm not sure what he wants to do in this case. And then I've come across a lot of them where they use, <coughs> excuse me, uh, regular gasoline motors and stuff and convert them by taking the heads off, I guess, and, and using them that way and forcing air in to push the piston up and down. It's not very efficient. It uses a lot of air. And in most cases, the ones that I've seen where they've tried to use them within just a few minutes not even minutes. Their compressed air in those small tanks is depleted. So I don't think that's going to work very well. This one, he had a uh, turbine, I guess you'd call it, effect. And there again, it's even hooked to another air compressor. And it's still, as soon as he started running it, you could hear the thing slowing down. So there's just not enough air to do any good with something like this. It has to be a positive displacement so that you can control how much air you use and that you can actually put pressure on it in order to use any horsepower or any power that it has. This one was here was plugged into a, like a, a blower and then again it ran continuous speed once it got going, but uh, there was just no power to it. He could stop the thing with his foot, which would not be very practical to try to use in any kind of a vehicle. And the next thing I come across was some people that had actually put some of these homemade devices into vehicles of some sort or another. This one, uh, it did run around a little bit there with it, but it just went kind of put, 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 put. So that's not too practical, and I don't think I want to go very far in that thing anyway. The next one, this one was actually going down the road pretty good. They used a couple of high pressure air tanks that really don't have that much volume either. They've got high pressure and if you have a small enough motor, I guess it'll go for a little ways. I don't know how far he actually went with this, but 
I don't think it was very far. This guy looks like he has a little higher pressure tank, but not very big. And in something this small, I guess it would run for a, a while. He was actually driving around with it in town, so I think it was over in uh, Kuwait. That's where it was. So they probably don't have any rules or regulations on what the vehicles have to be like. This next one, uh, uh, let's see, where was that? I'm not sure where it was at, but anyway, he started out with it and went about 100 feet and ran out of air. So again, that's not going to be very practical. This one looks like they're going to be pretty serious about it. It has uh, the high pressure tank, but not very big. This one is a, a secondary air tank the way it looks and it's going to have a gasoline engine and it's going to be uh, driven with a hydraulic motor it's supposed to be a hybrid which you'll still be using gasoline I guess in a lot of cases and then this particular one is supposed to be gasoline power, combined power, or just air power, which there again, I don't know how far you'd go with it. Here is a vehicle that um, I don't think I'd want to go in town with it too much with other vehicles running around or out on the open highway with a tractor trailer right running behind me and for ten thousand dollars wow that's that's pretty pretty steep i'm not sure this one has been talked about a lot and for the last eight ten years or whatever it's been talked about, but nothing's exactly been done with it. I haven't seen any of them really running around much. I don't know how well they will eventually work, but I don't think in the United States because of our regulations for safety. And I looked at the engine in the thing, and my goodness, that's a pretty complicated looking machine. I want something that is simple, something that you could work on, and something that you could just take the old engine out and more or less bolt it right up to your transmission and go with it. But I don't know how much longer it's going to be before I come up with that particular idea. This is one that I worked on back in 2010. Uh, it's a six cylinder. I I tried just to put it into a, a small lawnmower, just you know, to see if I could make it run around the yard. The uh, installation isn't too complicated. I had to have a little bit of uh, trying to decide how to put controls on it to be able to operate the the air and. It did run around a little bit, but I never got to take it out into the yard. I just ran it a little bit here. see it did run but I never took it out uh, last year I had a, a major computer failure and dummy me I didn't have my videos and files backed up on an external drive so I lost a lot of my 
year end stuff, which I've still got the, the, the motor and the, the vehicle. I'll have to take some more videos of it whenever the weather gets a little better and see if I can't put out some of those videos and see if I want to actually go with that design or if I want to keep working on it. So I guess for today I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, if you want to subscribe or follow it, I'll be happy to have you in, join in with me. So until next time, so long.